Taking into account their various ingenious agricultural practices and considering they were surrounded by an ocean full of fish, I'm pretty confident that the Rapa Nui always had plenty to eat. Through their innovations and their careful cultivation of their landscape, they had developed a sustainable way to live in one of the most difficult places on Earth. This security allowed them to develop a society in which cultural expression could flourish. Even today, we are still uncovering previously unrecorded aspects of the cultural life of this island. There are no permanent watercourses on Rapa Nui, but on the slopes of Mount Teravaka, the highest point on the island, there is an ancient gully that takes runoff down the hillside after heavy rainfall. In the last few years, excavations by a team from the German Archaeological Institute have uncovered a very elaborate complex of dams and stone pavements, which have been hidden under the turf for centuries. You can really see the different kind of material and how the different layers have formed. The whole area was all covered with pavement. A very elaborate pavement with some very interesting structures uh, inside. We have uh, three parallel uh, water channels. The amount of water that came down this creek has always been very, very little. It cannot be imagined like a real river or anything in that sense. We think that the water could have been channeled as another aspect of transforming the landscape. We don't know for what purpose these huge constructions were built. Perhaps for a very special type of water cult. But the dam-like structures were not for retaining water behind the dam because the stone structure is very loose and lets the water through. Perhaps this was a culture connected to the loss of palm forest on the island, connected to the importance of water after deforestation. Overlooking this valley, a small ahu with its fallen moai alludes to the ritual significance of this site. We found inside the pavement planting pits for palm trees, which is really spectacular find in that sense that we always hear about the Rapa Nui having cut down the palm tree vegetation, but now we also have evidence that they planted them, that they in, in, a, in a way cherished them to have them as part of, of, a, of a transformed landscape. How far do you think these pavements spread? Well, we have pavements um, all over. We have them up on the slopes and even going up the ravine, you have paved areas, also hydraulically active structures. Further up the slope, this stone-lined basin was uncovered. More evidence that water was at the heart of this complex. This impression shows how the site might have appeared in the past. I believe this evidence of carefully engineered water features and plantations of Easter Island palms fundamentally alters our ideas about the Rapa Nui's stewardship of their island. These new discoveries show that quite late on in the life of their society, the Rapa Nui were not just cutting palm trees down, they were planting them. <laughs> 